Hi, I'm Amy. Hi, I'm Jamie Jo. And today we are talking about coping with change. Change is a normal part of life, but that doesn't make it any easier to cope with. Mm. I mean, there's all sorts of changes, like changing school or changing friends or changing teachers, changing country. One of my experiences with change is moving here to the UK. Huge change. Yes. <laughs> How did you prepare for that? The moment where I actually had my visa and fully moved to the UK was the hardest moment because I had never seen my dad cry before. And it was that moment of knowing I'm not going to see these people for another six months and maybe just twice a year, once a year. That sounds quite you know, big and scary and mm. difficult to cope with but actually we do have some tips on how to cope with changes so the first step is recognizing the worst we're scared of change because it's the unknown you don't know what's going to happen so sometimes just imagining the worst possible case scenario will help you a lot did definitely. you do any preparation before you moved i had a book and each day we like wrote down what we wanted to do and went through a schedule and scheduling things really helped me out just putting it out there and being like okay if i break this down it's actually not that bad and sometimes things can seem really scary at first but as soon as you do it it gets yeah. easier it's kind of like when you get that nervous feeling of like jumping into a pool. It's the before the jump is the yeah, scariest Yeah, part. just that little moment of hesitation. Another thing you can do is kind of figure out what it is about the change that's upsetting you. So moving to the UK, missing all your friends and family, that's a pretty yeah. obvious one. There are some things that you just can't control in life and that's unfortunate, but at the same time there are ways for you to cope with it and accept the change and find the good in it. Try and find the positives. If you go through your memory, a lot of the time you can just remember the negative situations the most. When you focus on the positive parts of the change, it makes the negative seem not as bad and easier to deal with. And not all change is bad you know? Absolutely. I'm in the process of moving house again. It's a good change. It's a very good change. Um, very stressful, but change does happen. And often change leads to improvement. Not all change is bad. And even if you do think it's bad, the next step would be to kind of reframe how you think about it. Or if it's a problem or situation, to look at ways of how to stop, have a solution to it. So the next step is looking at ways to manage stress. Stress is completely normal and natural, but you can get overwhelmed. You're listening to music and taking long walks and making an effort every day just to kind of have a break and be like, okay, this hour is my hour. Things like meditation and mindfulness mm. as well can be really useful. Just taking that moment to be by yourself and be like, okay, I feel fine. Everything's going to be okay. Taking a breath. That's, that helps me out more than anything. <laughs> and the final step is, you know, if your stress levels about this change are getting so big they're affecting your life, talk to someone. Mm -hmm. You can talk to an adult, a friend, um, childline counsellors, or even a medical professional. Talking to someone helps out so much because you just build it up in your head and you overthink things and then you start creating situations and thinking other people think things. And so sometimes just hearing it from another person saying, it's okay, I'm not that bothered by this and everything's going to be okay. And there might be some practical help they can give mm -hmm. you if you just ask for it as well. Yeah. Jamie Jo, thank you so much for coming to talk to us. Thank you for having me. No problem. And we will see <laughs> you next time. Bye.